Good morning. Thank you for inviting us as representatives of the families into this educational presentation. And here, the president of the PTA and myself are present, even though we are not that much visible in this type of a discussion. And when we are, there we might be stigmatized to a certain extent. Yet, our school being a high complexity school under the challenge of being able to educate our kids in this complex world provides us with ample of opportunities to do so. The main goal behind our project is, which is based by the way on the trust that we have between the schools and the parents because parents are indeed an, a crucial part of this educational project and this is the highlight. The, we are critical makers. On the one hand, this is the culture behind, this is the philosophy behind, as the individual tran transformer, uh, not just in outcomes, but in processes. What are the key factors that, that we consider could be replicated in different schools, and not just on specific actions, which are highly tailored to our project? Again, this is a community-based project, and indeed, the sense of emergency was brought by the students themselves when in the fifth grade they, this, um, they decided to have the scientists, the technologies, the robots uh, class. And so that would, that would send a strong message to try and tap into these opportunities. This is where we try to refer to other sites that would provide us with the expertise, on the one hand, the technical expertise with the university, also a community called, uh, an NGO called Collectic, and then Principia Kit, adding beauty to the process. Uh, this is a journal on education and science, and we believe that this is an important part as well. Again, we wanted this to be a holistic cross-cutting project embracing all areas and cost was crucial. Uh, financial cost was something that we need to consider and it just wouldn't make sense to have this as an added divide in our school. This is why we decided to go for funding in several areas, uh, including the provincial government, the Pompeu Ferra University or the City Council of Barcelona. And then the gender approach was also incorporated and this very seminar is an example where even in education where there is a high majority of teaching women when we talk about uh, technologies still there is more there are more men there. and these are the actions i will not pinpoint at any of them if i may other than the classroom technology we wanted to incorporate it this is not as a disruptive tool but also but rather to see how we can bring them into the projects that are already used, such as sound activities, the Creative Commons licenses, or the design of interactive visits for learners in the trips, in the, in the field trips they take. Conclusions, there are many of them, but most importantly, I would say that, that in under five months, we have managed to change the perception of parents and students and teachers towards technology because there are far many stereotypes in technology that we need to do away with and this is what hopefully is our contribution thank you